In today's video, we're opening an entire case of the new Phantom Nightmare Yu-Gi-Oh set. What's up guys, we're back with another case opening where we open 288 packs of the newest set, which is Phantom Nightmare in this case. And this set is pretty insane. It has two ultra rares that are extremely expensive. So still pre-release, keep that in mind. By the time you're watching this, it won't be pre-release, so you'll know the real price. Not off my video though, because we have to edit it on Thursday, you know, so we can post it on Friday. So keep that in mind. You can check it for yourself on TCG Player if you want to cross check with how it's changed since the pre-release ended. But enough of that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away a booster box of Phantom Nightmare. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed to on notifications let me know down below your favorite card in phantom nightmare and will we pull something amazing in this opening i have a good feeling about it let's get right to it we have 288 packs and uh speaking of giving away booster boxes uh i'm sure you've already seen or you will be seeing the uh whatnot thing uh oh my goodness first pack we pulled the best card in the set a 70 dollars ultra rare at the moment probably gonna go down a little bit because you know pre-release and everything but right now as i'm recording this it's 70 dollars on tcg player first pack hadn't even gotten to talk about how we're giving away more booster boxes on whatnot tonight at 5 p.m so i want to see you guys there today's video is sponsored by whatnot whatnot is a live auction platform where you can buy items at auction you can do buy it nows you can check out the marketplace you can even become a seller i'll be streaming there tonight at 5 5 p.m. Central opening up the brand new Phantom Nightmare set. So if you guys want to grab something of the brand new set, make sure you come check it out live tonight at 5 p.m. Central. And yes, we should have the product this time, unlike Maze of Millennia. These streams are always a ton of fun. You can come check them out by clicking my link down below. You get $15 free credit if you use that link and it's your first time on Whatnot. Make sure to click that link, search my name, Ruxa34, and then bookmark my streams in the future. We have one coming up this Friday and then one in two weeks opening a big first edition LOB box. I hope you guys are there. And no, you don't have to buy something to be there and watch the stream. So if you just want to see us open the new Phantom Nightmare set, open a first edition LOB box and other stuff we've done, such as opening the first 11 sets ever. We've done some pretty amazing stuff on whatnot. You just have to go there and watch. It's just like watching on YouTube, except you have the opportunity to buy something that I'm opening or buy something that I'm selling. So I hope to see you guys there tonight at 5 p.m. Central. Thanks again to whatnot for sponsoring this video. You can even pull the Snake Eyes Poplar Ultra Rare four in a box. So you got a good chance to get it. That's assuming it's not short printed, which based on that, I mean, we pulled it in one pack. Probably not, but you never know. Might have just gotten really lucky. So I'm super excited for tonight's whatnot stream. Uh, they've been really fat, uh, fast. <laughs> they haven't actually been fast. They've been pretty long. They've been really fun recently, not fast. We just got into the video and I'm already misspeaking, but I mean, what's new here? Okay, good stuff. Phantom Nightmare. I really like the way they did these packs. They've definitely made them better. Like by, by packs, I mean the literal pack wrapper. They feel more solid. They've definitely updated something and it's a lot better. So shout out to Konami for doing that. There we go. We have Safira Dragon Queen of the Voiceless Voice. Another ultra rare. Very cool. So they have upgraded their quality control on the packaging, and I'm a big fan of that. So that's really cool. Also, if you guys want to grab any of this set, uh, not from me on whatnot, and you want to grab some booster boxes or cases or something like that, go check out Sassy Auto. He has some really awesome deals, Get f and the deals are 5% off using my code, which I will have it linked down below. There's the Skull Guardian. So make sure you use my code if you check out with Sassy Auto and use my link so you can support the channel with an affiliate. Very cool. Sassy is also a very reliable, very good guy. So you know that you're not getting scammed or anything like that if you buy from him. He does send me some, uh, sometimes there's some crazy guys over there on eBay though that'll tell him that he's scamming them and it, they're clearly trying to scam him, you know? You know where they're, they'll send like, they'll they'll think that a, a LOB pack is first edition and it's just, it's like there's a picture of it and you can see it's like a 20, it's a 2017 or a 25th anniversary. And he's like, why, why would you think it was, uh, <laughs> why would you think that? And they're like, oh, you scammer. It's really funny. So eBay is a wild place. I mean, there's scammers both on the seller and the buyer end. And Sassy Auto is not one of them. So go check him out. He's a good guy. Once you when you when you find a good seller that you can rely on, it's always really nice because then, you know, you've you've done you've done business, you have a relationship and you know what to expect. So he's one of those good guys. We have Metamorphosis. There we go. Let's see what we can get. Uh, we've got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Uh, make sure you check out. Speaking of whatnot, uh, two weeks from yesterday, I think we will be opening an LLB first edition box on whatnot. So if you guys want to, there's an Ashen card. If you guys are interested in winning first edition LLB packs, maybe pulling a blue eye, something like that, then you may or may not want to follow there. Make sure you bookmark that stream. That's going to be a good one. I'm super excited for it. I think it's, is it on a Thursday? I think it's on a Thursday or Friday. I don't remember when I, I think I scheduled for the 23rd. So maybe it is a Friday. I'm not totally sure. I think that's a Friday. There will be some big LLB. Last time we opened an LLB box, we got 
uh, Exodia limbs, I believe. It was two Exodia limbs, so it wasn't super crazy. We're really hoping to not do that, because not that Exodia limbs are bad, but it's just there's better options, you know? Okay, Iron Thunder, Secret Rare. So we're really looking for something like, you know, Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, Red Eyes, Exodia Head versus the Limbs. Though the Exodia Limbs, if they get tens, I mean, there's some good ones, like the left leg's pretty good. Raid Raptor. I still need three pieces. I need the left arm, left leg, right leg. So, no, no, right arm. Sorry, right arm. I have the right leg. Okay, we have the Roma Lilith Magnolia. So I have a lot to go to finish my Exodia set. Okay, let me know how you guys are enjoying Phantom Nightmare so far. Are you guys excited about it? Have you gotten any yet? Uh, local stores have recently recently released them. Shout out to Frontline. I grabbed a couple boxes this time from them, as I usually do. That's my local store. Okay, Phantom Nightmare, come on. Give us something good. We have Aromalith Magnolia. Very cool. This is going to be a longer video because it is a case opening, guys. So 288 packs is not... Can't open that super fast, Spirit of You, Bell. So we are doing our best to open at a pace that is enjoyable, but also reasonable. You know what I'm saying? So we're not here all day. And speaking of being here all day, Saturday, we will be opening Phantom Nightmare again. And that is going to be super fun. I think we're probably going to go for the Magician of Bonds and Unity version 3. Though I might want to go for the Promethean because that thing's 500 bucks right now. I'm going to see what it settles at. If it's still 500, we might go for that. And then like if we happen to pull this, the Magician of Bonds and Unity, which is only a $65 card, we'll just be happy. It's not very expensive because there's already been three, two versions of it. There's a Skull Guardian. Okay, it looks like the Knicks just traded uh, for Bojan Bogdanovich. I didn't see that. We got a little NBA NBA update. That happened yesterday for you guys, but NBA de trade deadline, I think, is happening as I'm recording this, which is NBA is something I watch quite a bit, so I will be interested to see what all happens. The Lakers, unfortunately, are probably going to do nothing and be terrible, or at least not terrible. Average is, is the worst thing. Okay, EMP Meow Mine. Very cool ultra rare. Phantom Nightmare. You've been pretty good. We need some U Bell cards in here. We don't have any U Bell cards yet. Well, we do have. Well, we got a we got a super. That was back to back of the same ultra. We got a spirit of U Bell. I guess we can't say no U Bell cards. We have a Raid Raptor Brave Strix. We still need to pull the uh, Promethean Ultra Rare. That's another Ultra Rare that's really expensive. It's like 50 bucks at the moment. It's probably going to be less than that once it comes out. Moon Morphosis, same Secret Rare. That's kind of weird. Best Secret Rare we want is the Low, the Prayers of the Voiceless Voice. We have King of the Ashen City. So is the Ashen stuff going to be good or people just really like it? What do we think? Let me know in the comments. I want to know. We have uh, Psychic Arsenal. A lot of cards being open today. A lot of potential. Uh, we should get three quarter centuries, I think. Maybe we'll get the Magician of Bonds and Unity right off the bat. We have Priestess of the Ashen City. That's the first like high rarity Priestess I've actually seen. Or not Priestess, Ashen card. Maybe I pulled one the other day. Maybe I pulled like one Ultra, but they're like all supers and commons and stuff. And my voice is a little weird. Sorry, guys. It's been I've been feeling weird for like a week. I don't know what's going on. I've still been working because, you know, got a lot to do. This has been like one of the busiest weeks. I have so much going on between Pokerux having a big video that we've been streaming for three months trying to finish. And we actually got a sponsor on it. So like the sponsor is like, hey, when are you posting the video? And I'm like, I'm trying. It's not over yet. But then it's like, I can't spend too much time on Pokerux because we got this new set release. We got the whatnot stream coming up. I got to prepare for him. I've got a big collection I'm working with. Consignment. There's a Horus, the Black Flame deity that I'm trying to finish up with that as well. So that, you know, that person can get their stuff sold it's a massive consignment so a little spoiler for you guys it's gonna be a really big video um we got another meow mine that's three so it's all converging at once and it's like you can't finish one thing it's like you try to finish one thing and then you run into another thing you got to do and then you know and then we got to keep up videos daily you know so you got to keep recording and my brother's basketball season is ending in like a, a this week and next week is like the last two weeks so he has all these games at weird times that i'm going to and i'm having to leave at like 3 30 in the afternoon so yeah it's it's been crazy and then the twitch stream of course is you know i'm trying to do three days a week for that so i've been pretty good on since the beginning of last year for the most part i do three unless there's like another stream taking its place i basically always do it so yeah a lot going on right now a lot going on right now it's a good thing to be busy you know it's also like oh it's like oh my goodness how did this all happen at once okay goblin uh biker gang grand not gang grand bash okay grand bash interesting okay we have raid raptor obsidum also shout out to everybody who helped with the car by the way we haven't gotten a car yet that's another thing i gotta buy a car so i'm trying to look at cars and then like they want to like 
you don't want you to come in and test drive it and then they're gonna ask you a million things so yeah i'm trying still trying to work on that but that's probably something that'll have to just wait until i'm done with my work to actually do raid raptor rising rebellion that will have to go on the back burner until i actually can uh which hopefully won't be too long maybe in a couple weeks i'll be able to get something but still saving a little bit because i'm trying to get something that will last for a while because the current car i've had has done pretty good but it's a 2012 uh, i've been driving it for seven years six and a half years i think so at this point it is 12 years old so it's pretty old psychic processor and when the cost of the car costs more or when the the main like not not necessarily maintenance but all the money i've had to spend on it has been more than the value of the car it's time to move on, you know, because not really adding much value when I'm when I'm doing that stuff. But I, you have to do it to like keep driving it. OK, we have a waltz because I hit I hit a curb one time. I hit this small curb. It was small and then it got bigger and then I like landed on it. It was the stupidest. It was the stupidest thing ever. Like I just wasn't paying attention. And then it ended up costing me because there was pre-existing damage because we, we got this car when I was in college, I think, and it had pre-existing damage and we just didn't fix it. So when I hit the curb, it was like an insurance claim. So I just had to pay the, the deductible, which is like, I think it was like $500. Oh, we got a QCR. We'll get back to the car. QCR, here we go. We have Phantasmal Summoning Beast. We have Dark Guardian. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait. Let's, let's do a little fun. Let's, let's do a little pack trick. All right, looks like we have a QCR. We got a little sparkle on there. Will it be the Magician of Bonds and Unity? Maybe the Prometheus, Promethean. That's a $500 card. Let's see what it is. Our first QCR of the new set. No, second, because we did pull one already. Mystic Potato, we have Emergency Airport. A port, we have Fusion. Phantasmal Summoning Beast, we have Dark Guardian. Vaganawa, and we have a... Oh, the Magician of Bonds and Unity! Let's go! Our first QCR in the case opening is the Magician of Bonds and Unity. That's awesome. There's like so many different QCRs. This is one I want because there's been different prints of it. They have different background colors. Very cool and very collectible. I like it. I like it. That's an amazing first QCR. So I guess we're not searching for that Saturday. That's fine. Okay, that's pretty sick, actually. That's really cool. That cool. Cool. That's really cool. Uh, I'm very happy with that because that's one of the ones that I want like, just to keep. Because it's not super expensive. It's usually easier to keep it when it's cheap, right? Because it's like, it's a cool card, but it, I'm only making 60 bucks if I sell it, you know? Like, or even less probably after shipping and fees. So really, it's like, I might as well just keep it because it's awesome, right? Um, that's a nice pull. Horse the Black Flame Deity. We're still looking for, maybe they did short print these ultras. Who knows? We'll find out probably after our case openings. But all right, back to my story about the car. Because I know uh, some people, like, I know I personally, when someone's like telling a story, they get distracted by whatever's going on. They forget about it. Like when you're watching a video, you're like, oh, what was that story about? I know some people are thinking that right now. So I will not do that to you. I will tell you what happened. So basically, I hit that curb. I had to, it had to get taken in for insurance, paid a deductible. Then they found the pre-existing damage and they had to fix that to be able to fix the insurance. So I had to pay for the pre-existing damage, which turned out to be $2,400 worth. So that plus $500 deductible, I spent almost $3,000 on a car. The car is currently, after the repairs of all that, worth $5,300. So over half was spent. And it was before... Before I had fixed it, it was probably it wasn't worth five thousand three hundred because like it was all jacked up. So it was probably worth like four thousand. I spent nearly three thousand dollars to fix it. And I was like, oh, this is terrible. This is just so that's like, you know, if I get a new car, no pre-existing damage. That was just a mistake. Uh, you know, stuff like nothing that's going to, you know, cost me a ton of money. Goblin Biker Big Gabong. And I, I feel like there was something else. There was something else I had to spend a ton of money on. I'm trying to remember what it was on that car. It was recent. Well, there was one time I had there, there were some issues and they were like, yeah, th these issues, if you want to fix them, there's a Vados. Uh, we're going to have to like take it apart and it's going to cost like three thousand dollars. And they're like, but the part only cost 20 bucks. And I was like, are you kidding me? I was like, so do not fix that. I'm not paying $3,000 for a $20 part. There was something else too. It was like, it was like, there was like three things in the span of like six months. And I was like, okay, maybe it's time. <laughs> maybe it's time. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate with just cars just being stupid expensive. And me also not being like the biggest car person. Cause a lot of people are like, I'm fixing that on my own car. Goblin Biker Grand Entrance. The Goblin Biker. What an interesting archetype. Very interesting. But I'm sure there's a lot of you guys who are like, oh, I fix everything on my car. You know, I don't pay people to do it. Because let's be honest, when you pay people to do it, the upcharges for like labor and everything like that is crazy. It's so expensive. It gets insane. Um, we have a Psychic Arsenal. 
So I'm sure like if, I mean, I couldn't have done all this stuff myself. I couldn't have repaired the front of the car, but uh, some of it maybe I could have. We have a Raid Raptor Bloom Vulture. Well, I'm just not great at that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Look, I open cards for a living, guys, and I play Pokemon on my other channel. Like, what do you expect? Speaking of the Pokerux channel, it's been three months since we posted a video because we've been working on these this video for so long. I also have a, a third one of those. Okay, Mutamorphosis. I also have another one I'm working on behind the scenes. So there should be two videos coming to Poker Rocks in the next month, I would say. It's still growing though, because it's two videos. You Bell, the loving defender forever. That's really cool. It's two videos are doing really good. There's one with 111 and one with 90,000 views and they just keep getting views, which is really cool. So it's like stressing me out that I haven't posted there in a long time because it's like, People are watching these and I'm not taking advantage of it, you know? Man, it's such a fun channel though. The the run we've been on has been so much fun on Twitch. Uh, shout out to everybody who's been there. I feel like the Twitch viewership has been up a little bit in the last couple weeks. We've been up to like 30 to 40 viewers, which is like compared to our YouTube viewer, uh, like opening is very low. There's a Poplar, number two, that's very nice. But for Twitch and like playing games that have nothing to do with Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty nice. When we do, when we did Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, we had better viewership than I just, I just like Pokemon. I just like playing the Pokemon games. It's very nostalgic for me. It's the same reason I like opening Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It's just like, it hits that early 2000s vibe for me. It was like stuff I was doing back then and stuff I really loved. It was like the only thing I wanted to do was play with Yu-Gi-Oh cards and play Pokemon games. And that's kind of what I'm doing now. <laughs> pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm an old man doing it now. Every once in a while, there'd be somebody that's like, why is this old guy opening packs? It's always on YouTube shorts or TikTok because that's where you get all the viewers who, the, man, the conspiracies on the shorts, by the way, I got to bring this up because, you know, it's a case opening. I'm just going to be talking about random stuff. You guys know this at this point. The conspiracies are crazy. There'll be some guy who's like, man, every time I see this clown, he's pulling an amazing card. How fake is that? He must be repacking. I'm like, you're watching a short. This is highlights. Like, it's like, dude, you didn't watch any of my 1500 opening videos that these came from. You only watch the highlights. Obviously, if you're watching a highlight, it's going to be a highlight. Like, use your brain, man. It's crazy. They're like, nope, nope. Not looking at that. Only looking at the shorts. It's like, you are a scammer. It's like, oh my gosh, man. It's insane. And that's like every day. There's some random comment like that. It's like, what are you talking about, dude? It's like, why would I be posting a $20 poll? And that's it, like, I repackaged it to put this $20 collector rare in there. It's like, sure, some of them are good. There's a new secret rare. New secret rare. Get it? Huh? New? Yeah. So good old YouTube shorts. But they, you know, they have benefits. They have drawbacks. One of the drawbacks is you have to read really dumb people's comments or they don't even think they just type. There was one. What was the crazy one I saw recently? Safira, I saw a crazy comment. It was it was on my one of my PSA PSA return shorts, which those obviously get a lot of negative comments because PSA is sort of divisive and controversial sometimes because, you know, sometimes people have bad experiences with them. But this one was just absolutely ridiculous. It was like it was the one where we had like the summon skull return, I think cyber end and all those big ones where we did really good. Um, somebody commented. He was like, it was like, I don't remember if he said clown. He's like, this clown, this. No, he, he no, he said, uh, I don't remember. There was some sort of like curse in it. I don't remember what it was. Cause you know, you guys know I don't cuss, but it was something. It was like POS. That's what it was. Yeah, this POS is uh is putting prices of original first eds in their 25th anniversaries. And I was like, First of all, like a bunch of these don't even have 25th. There, it was like Cyber and Dragon that doesn't have a 24th anniversary pack. Uh, and I and I just comment back. I was like, there is no way you just you just left this comment without e any sort of research. Because like the people in like shorts, it's like their their confidence is like if you could give that to somebody with like talent, you know, the confidence. Like if you give it to some like really good basketball player that needs confidence, you gave it the confidence of someone commenting on a YouTube short. They'd be the best basketball player of all time because. These people think they know everything and it's like they've never even thought about Yu-Gi-Oh because if you've thought about a Yu-Gi-Oh card before, you know, or you've ever even like watched a video or something, you know, 25th anniversary is completely different and you can just look at it. And the best part, this was the best part about it. It was on a PSA graded video where they have labels with names on it. So if you just read the label, like it would say 25th anniversary, if it was a 25th anniversary, that was one of the funniest comments I've ever read. The guy never answered, by the way. So he probably was like, oh, that was stupid. So yeah, that I just, I figured that you guys would think that was funny. Cause I was like, there's no way you think this is a 25th anniversary, dude. <laughs> it was pretty crazy. So yeah, that happens sometimes. It's usually on the shorts that do really good though. Like, you know, cause they get into like different viewership and stuff like that, which is really good. Cause that means that the short is doing good. 
Uh, that's where you get the crazy comments, but uh, then you have you see some crazy comments like that But honestly though at this point like those comments They're just funny, you know, they're just funny to see it's like this is there are people out there There are people out there indeed they exist and they do crazy stuff. Oh, there we go. There's our first Promethean There we go Finally, we get a Promethean ultra rare. This is the big one second big one the big one is the poplar, but this is the also big one <laughs> very cool $50 at the moment of recording, probably a little bit less for you guys that are watching on Friday because you'll, you will all be watching on Friday or after. And uh, keep in mind, if you are watching this like way later, prices change. Sometimes I'll get comments about uh, how my prices are inaccurate and it's like six months later. I'm like, well, I can't change it after the fact, but yeah, Vados the Eruption Dragon. So the, the prices will be based on when I opened it. That is a pretty rare comment, but I have seen it before. Um, or people think that I'm like lying about the prices or something like that. And I'm like, well, I, I can't edit the prices after we post the video. Unfortunately, that'll be something that will be able to happen at some point. You'll be able to retroactively change, but then you'll have to really be careful about that. It's like editing tweets because then people will like it. And you could change it to something malicious and then they'd be like, oh, why'd you like that tweet? And you're like, I well, didn't say that before. Now it does. So we're about maybe halfway through this opening. We've pulled pretty good so far. We've got a couple snake eyes poplar. We've done some, uh, we've had some epic, epic moments of talking about cars and crappy, crappy comments and Raid Raptor Brave Strix and a lot of great stuff like that. This is our podcast. See, like everyone on Yu-Gi-Oh starting a podcast. I'm just opening cases. That's my podcast. Whenever I open a case, I should just make a podcast section and then just put the case openings in it. <laughs> make like in my podcast. Yeah, this will be our podcast. They're like 50 minutes. I mean, that should qualify, right? That would make sense actually if I just put all the case openings in there because we do open these for quite a while. There are a lot of packs. We have Goblin, Biker, Mean, Merciless. Goblin, Biker. We've got a Safira, Dragon Queen. Had to move some cards around real quick just to, you know, get more situated. Because there are cards everywhere. My desk, uh, while it is a better setup, we have a pack a bit, secret rare. I do have less room to put cards because I got stuff everywhere. Okay, we have a Romolith, a Rosemary. I have my uh, Go XLR up on my desk now, which has never been plugged in because I didn't have the plug for it. I now have one, but I've not set it up because I'm scared to mess up my audio. Because if you guys have ever done any tech stuff like or like audio or video, anytime you change like one little thing, somehow five things go wrong immediately. So I'm a little scared. I'm going to eventually do it, but I'm going to wait till we don't need to be recording new openings. You know, I can get a little ahead. So if it does mess up, I have time to fix it. But I got a new XLR cable and stuff like that. So because right now I've just been using the focus right for my little box that it connects to this microphone. But I'm going to instead of that, I'm going to forego that and go for the Go XLR, which I've had for a while. And that is probably not going to be used too much in videos, maybe a little bit, but uh, more so for like streams and stuff, because you can do some fun like voice change, some cool stuff like that. So I'm going to mess around with it once I finally have time, which I've already told you in this video, I do not at the moment. But it sounds fun because, you know, Technology. It's fun to have like just little gadgets, you know, speaking of gadgets, my stream deck. I don't know if you guys have been having this issue. My stream deck. I'm not. I don't know if any of you guys use a stream deck. I don't know what's going on with it, but right now it's completely blank. The app on my computer has been running like I'll, I'll click it. One time I clicked it before a stream to try to get it to work and it just didn't open. I was like, well, I give up. I did a six hour stream. It opened at like five hour point of the stream randomly. So it took six hours to open or something. We have a psychic processor. I was like, what are you doing stream deck? Like you're just out of it right now. And ever since then, it hasn't been working. So I, I'm gonna, I haven't restarted my computer since then, which is usually the fix. Just restart your computer. But a lot of times I have a million windows open. I don't want to restart because then I'm gonna have to like figure out what I was do I was like working with and all this stuff. So yeah, I haven't actually done that yet. And as I've said, a lot of going on. So I haven't really, I have had time, you know, you always have time to restart your computer. It takes three minutes, but, and I still need to, I got a new PC to upgrade the current one and I haven't actually swapped it yet. I'm still using my old one, but I also need to transfer the memory. Not exactly sure how to do that. I guess I should just get a big drive and just move it over there. It'd probably be the easiest way, but then I'd have to buy it like two terabytes worth. No, maybe three because I, I have three terabytes on this computer. I don't know if I'm using three, though. I'm probably using two. So, yeah, lots a of, lot of tech going on. You know, tech, if you tech heads will like that. Tech is fun, but it's also like sometimes it's just like ugh, just a pain because like if you really get into like a tech upgrade or like trying to work on something, it can take like all day. 
like you can start like, oh, now, now that I'm doing this, let me just like adjust this little thing or let me try to add this in or like update my OBS, uh, my OBS sources real quick. Make sure those are all working and get something new for that and all this stuff. So then it just turns into a, a bunch of stuff that you have to do. But it is fun. The problem is it's just time consuming, you know, and even though I work from home and I work on opening cards, it's like I still feel like I never have enough time. Like speaking of giveaways, I'm way behind on those. I got to do those, but I've got so much going on right now. I haven't done giveaways. Giveaways are like two months behind thanks to the move and then get everything together and now all this stuff. So, oh my goodness, that's going to be crazy when we get to that. Hopefully we can get those out soon. I know a lot of people are like, where's my giveaway? Sorry about that, guys. I'm really sorry it's taking so long. Really sorry it's taking so long. It's been a crazy time. And I've also been, you know, sick the last week. Another poplar. That's the third one. It's a weird sickness, though. It's weird. I don't know what's going on. It's like I'm not like bedridden, you know, it's not like I can't get like wake up or anything or like, but I just feel like ugh, all day and my stomach's been like a little weird, like a little nauseous, you know, and it feels like that right now, right now. I feel like, ugh, you know, a little bit like that, but I have to get this video recorded so Kenneth can actually edit the video because this is going to be a 45 hour long video. And if I don't get it to him soon enough, he's going to die because he, he's got he's got to edit the whole thing before tomorrow. So I got to record it now. So, yeah. The schedule is killing me right now. Okay, we've got the Magic Spectre. We can do this, though. We can do this. We're grinding. We're grinding. Fortunately, I didn't lose my voice. That's that's a plus, because if you lose your voice, I really can't do much. Like, I, I can do other stuff, but I can't do any recording. And recording is something I have to keep up with, because i got to be ahead for the editors to be working. You know, they can't really... Oh, there's a Promethean again. There's our second one. I didn't sleep up the Snake Eyes Poplar. I got distracted. Wait, we need to be sleeping those up, because those are good. Let's sleep that play set of these in the case that's a good sign that means hopefully they're not short printed two of these so far we're getting close to a play set i don't remember what i was saying before sorry guys sorry if i left you on a cliffhanger probably wasn't interesting anyway oh by the way we need a secret a secret code i love that i see these codes like a month or two later people are watching the the case openings and they like they put in their their secret uh secret phrase that we say i'm like oh yeah okay this one's going to be good. This one's going to be good. We're going to think of something epic. Let's let's relate it to this stream. Let's call it the Ashen Babel of Ubel because it's kind of like, uh, you know, we've been babbling on Ashen Babel, like the Tower of Babel. And then we got Ubel to tie it in. So, you know, the ba you know Tower of Babel didn't exactly get finished. Everybody got split up. OK, we got the supers. Very cool. It's a good set. I feel like we have not pulled a single low, though. Prayers of the Voices Voice, Secret Rare. So that one could be short printed potentially, who knows? So that one, if it is short printed, might go up. It's only 58, which is like 58 is a lot. But if it's a short printed secret, that's actually good. Uh, it might be tough or maybe it's already up because it's short printed. and The pre-release people knew Terrors of the After Root. I think we've seen the comments. There are some really good comments in here, though. Master of Ham, I have not mentioned in this in this uh, video. I was going to say stream. Are there some cool ones like that? That's a dope card. I think they really killed the comments in terms of just artwork. You know, I don't know if they're great cards, but they're really cool and like nostalgic for me. They kind of fit like the OG Yu-Gi-Oh vibe of just having like goofy cards. Some are scary, some are goofy. I like it. Magic Specter Wind. Speaking of goofy, I've been playing some Pokemon Go recently. And uh, speaking of, add me, Pokemon Go. Uh, my Pokemon trainer code is in the Discord, so make sure you join the Discord down below. It, in the Pokemon Go chat, I'll have a pin, I have a pinned uh, comment with my Pokemon Go trainer. You can add me. So almost at 300 friends. Send me some gifts. I'm not the best at sending back gifts. I'm trying to max out my friendship on the top level, but then I'll start going through everybody. Yeah, I've been doing a ton of trades because you get XL candy. There's a horse, the Black Flame Dragon. And all the Dratini day the, or the Dratini hour the other day, I traded like 300 Dratini trying to get a perfect one. We didn't get it. But I did get a second perfect Swino, but that was lucky. So now I have two Mammoth Swine that are perfect, which if you're a Pokemon Go person, that's a pretty good Pokemon. Um, so I'm pretty pumped about that. But yeah, you know, some of you guys like Pokemon Go in 2024. Yeah, it's still super fun. It's actually way better now because you get trades, lucky trades. Um, you can battle. I don't really battle that much, but the current Pokemon out right now, I think it ends today, are a bunch of dragons, which is pretty sick. The dragons are some of the best. I'm trying to get my first good Salamence. I have one Salamence that I caught actually at a YCS. YCS Indy. There was a Salamence in Indianapolis. I caught it. It was like 80, 80 IV, so it wasn't great, but still pretty cool. I was like, ooh. Oh, our second 25th anniversary. We got a Mutamorphosis, I believe. I can't really read this card because, you know, it's quarter century. They're impossible to read. Yeah, look at that. 
That's metamorphosis. Yep. And there's also a mystic potato to go with the mystic tomato. Wait. Okay. Special summon one dark monster with 15. Wait, is there not really a 1500 or less attack? Wait, was there not already a dark searcher? What? That doesn't sound right. What was mystic tomato before? I thought it was dark. Okay. I'm confused. There must be something slightly different about that. That I, that I didn't see. Mystic Potato, Mystic Tomato. How cool is that? I mean, who's playing those though? Are they playable? Wait, I gotta read this again. I'm curious now. Okay, if this card in the field is destroyed by card effect. Card effect? Interesting. I guess that's better now because you're more likely to be destroyed by card effect. There's a Grand Bash. Keep going. We are getting closer to the end. We have two quarter centuries so far. We should get three, I think. We need more Promethean. We need more uh, Poplar. I would like to get a one, at least one low, the prayers of the voiceless voice. That'd be good. At least one. We've gotten Magician and Bonds, Bonds and Unity. Awaken of the Avedo. Something like we pulled yet. Pretty cool to get the Magicians. I don't think that the Moodle one is very good. They don't even have it marked yet, so I don't know because the current thing is it doesn't show it so it might be somewhere but i don't see it there's a magic specter whoa is this a retrain of kieran i think is what it's called the band one they retrained a band card that's pretty crazy i guess i mean they retrain pot of greed all the time so i guess it's not that crazy but interesting so i guess it's worse somehow because if it was as good as the band one it wouldn't be banned right or this this one would be banned we have the doug charger goblin biker gang what an interesting archetype whoo Spirit of Ubel. Ubel. I feel like that's how Jaden used to say it. I haven't watched GX in a while, but Ubel. There's speaking of Ubel, we have the loving defender forever. Loving and creepy. All right, we have a Priestess of the Ashen City. Phantom Nightmare. It's a nightmare. Doug Charger. Okay, Phantom Nightmare. Can you give us some more good cards? Maybe some cards we have not pulled yet, like the low. The prayers of the voiceless voice would be good. Lo, we have Karnot, the Eternal Machine. I don't think I've seen that one. The Nightmare is Phantom, aka it's fake. We have the Magic Spectre, Wind. Wind. Water and wind. Must pull the best cards again. We have Grand Entrance. Grand Entrance. Okay, Snake Eyes Poplar, we've pulled three. It'd be nice if we get four of those, right? We have Super there. We got some Poplar cards, some Poplar. Gonna be Poplar. We have Karnot. Karnot, Karnot. Oh, uh-oh. Aromalith, I almost just chunked my cards. I hit my mat, it went crazy. Phantom Nightmare, the Nightmare of Sidum. Of Sidum. We are getting to where we can see all the packs, so we are getting close. Probably about a third or probably a quarter left. Maybe a quarter of the opening left. We're about 40 minutes in on my end. I feel like we're going at a pretty good pace. Sometimes this takes an hour. This might still take an hour, but we'll see. Get going at a good pace, Nightmare Pain. Okay, so this is what we got left right here. That looks like it could be three or four boxes, something like that. We have a Walls of the Imperial Tomb. Oh, throwing packs. Throwing packs. We have a super. Can we pull a... We have... Oh, another Poplar. There we go. We've still not pulled a low, though, which is pretty weird. So we have four of these, which is really good because it's the best card in the set besides the QCRs or some of the QCRs. It's better than some of the... It's more than the Magician of Bonds and Unity at the moment. White Sardine. Come on, Phantom Nightmare. Let's go. We have a Samsara de Lotus. That sounds like a... Sounds like an author or something like that. Samsara de Lotus. He wrote your new favorite... New favorite novel to read. Hero of the Ashen City. All right. We're getting close to the end here. Can we get the Black Goat Laughs? That is a creepy, creepy card. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we have a Emissary of the House of Wax. Okay. Raid Raptor Brave Strix. Still no low of the Voiceless Voice. Come on. We got a little Master of Ham. Master of Ham. That's such a good card. Such a good card. I love that. Tears of the After Root to go with the Under Root and the Over Root. We have the Goblin Biker Grand Bash. We have Magic Specter Draco Ryu. Can we get a low? Come on. We just want a low. We have a Vados. We also want one more QCR because we're supposed to get one. It would be great if it's the Promethean because that's supposed to be a big one. Skull Guardian. Oh, there we go. We finally get a low. The Prayers of the Voiceless Voice. We have one of this secret rare. <laughs> the best secret, but we do have a lot of the ultras, so that's good. The next best secret's only 18 bucks, so that's kind of the big one when it comes to the secret rare slot. The, there's two ultras better than that. Uh, Magic Specter, Ortho. So the secrets seem like not really a big deal in this set. It's more about the ultra rares in here. 
King of the Ashen City. It's pretty interesting. You want to get the low, obviously, because that's a big one. But Snake Eyes Poplar, Low, and Promethean are your big three that you're looking for. I mix these up a little bit, so it's possible we mix some stuff. Hopefully, we did mix some uh, a bunch of good stuff in a row. That'd be pretty good. Can we pull something epic? You, sometimes these case openings can end epically. I'm hoping that happens again. Because a lot of time it's not my case when that happens. I'm like, can we can we have one where it's my case and we have an epic ending? I'm hoping that's the case here. Get it? That's the case, or this is the case, I should say. We have Uromolith, Rosemary. We've got oh 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 Wave Raptor. Okay, almost chunk the cards. Phantom Nightmare. We have a Raid Raptor Rising Rebellion. Is that back to back? Back to back Rising Rebellion. Interesting. Two ultras that I'm not necessarily looking for. We have Goblin. Biker Mean Merciless. Mean Merciless. Goblin Biker Mean Merciless. What does that even mean? If it's like it's like gibberish. Goblin Biker Mean Merciless. What? I don't understand. Goblin Biker Clatter Sploder. That makes a little bit more sense. Not much. Goblin Biker Mean Merciless. Ruxin 3-4 pack pack cards. <laughs> it's like, like what? <laughs> Just random words. Mad Specter Draco. Down to what appears to be maybe two boxes, something like that. We have a barrier of the voiceless voice. Not an ice barrier, just a barrier. No ice involved. We have Raid Raptor. Come on. We got Samsara D. Lotus writing your new favorite novel. I will be writing a new favorite novel. My name is Samsara D. Lotus. Okay, Skull Guardian is actually a really expensive QCR. It's like 145 bucks. So I'm wondering if the Ultra is good. Seven bucks. That's not bad for an Ultra. People like Skull Guardian. That's cool. I wonder if it's a good card. Barrier of the Voiceless Voice. Can you give us another low? Please, please, please give us a low. Give us a low. We have a Upsidum. The Ashen City. Oh, oh, almost took the cards with me. Psychic Arsenal. Give us another low. Give us another uh, Promethean. We only have two of those right now. Place that would be really nice. We have Awakening of the Vados. The Vados. The Vidos. I don't know how to say it. Barrier. Long opening today. My arm, my shoulder actually is kind of in pain. Because I'm trying not to be on the desk because then it could shake, you know, the camera. Don't want to do that. And guess what? That means that my arm starts hurting. All right, psychic. <clears throat> not psychic. I don't even know how you say that. How in the world do you say this? <laughs> six, maybe? Six? It might just be six. A weird way of spelling six. Okay, Spirit of the U-Bell. Last few packs. Can they bless us with something crazy? I'm hoping they can. I'm got, I got some blim in my throat. Oh, no. We're under attack. All right, this is it. This is the end. This is like one box or less. A little bit less than a box. Can we pull something crazy? One low, two Promethean. Not amazing out of a case. Four Poplar is really good. Only two QCRs though so far. So I'm hoping there's another one in here. If we got shorted one, this is really not a great case. Because it should be one every four boxes. So you should get, on average, three. Because, you know, 12 boxes divide by four. That's three. Okay, we have... I'm going to try to check to see if we got one every time. But, man, maybe it will be some last pack magic, I hope. Right now, I'm getting nervous. Not there. Okay, Romolith. Uh-oh. I'm, I'm really getting nervous now. This case is not going to do so hot if it's missing those. Even the Poplar. There we go. A Promethean. That's huge. Okay, that's a playset of those. I can handle a playset. I'm not mad at that. There we go. Three big Ultras. So we got four of the Poplar, three of the Promethean. That's not bad. Now we just need our last QCR, and this, the case is at least decent, you know? It's not going to be like a bad case. Not down the last 10 yet, but we're getting there. The Black Goat laughs. I'm hoping we, this can be another bonfire situation after what happened there. Okay, we have Magispector Porcupine. Okay, under 10 packs. Oh, no. Oh, no. Walls of the Imperial Tomb. Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> Gonna make me sweat it out. I see how it is, Konami. Uh, okay, Raid Raptor, Bloom, Vulture. <laughs> We got a few more. We got seven more packs. Oh, I'm getting really nervous here. I'm not seeing a QCR. Uh-oh. King of the Ashen City. This is not good. No QCR? Come on. We've, we've gotten two. We got to get one more, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't give me two QCRs and two bad ones, to be honest. I mean, I'm happy with the Magician of Bonds and Unity, but it's technically not a good one. Um, Yeah, this is, this is not great. This is scary. The Black Goat Laughs. That is... 
That's really insult to injury. This card specifically, it's like the black goat is laughing at us. It's like you are unlucky. You are not getting anything. No QCR for you, unfortunately. Oh, come on. All right, three packs left. If you guys uh, if you guys want to grab some of this set, make sure you check out Sassy Auto down below. Use my code for 5% off. Also, whatnot tonight at 5 p.m. Central. I hope to see you guys there. Hoping we get better luck than we have gotten right now. We're get, Unless we get a QCR right here. Maybe then we want that same luck. Ashen City, two packs left. Two packs left. Okay, I'm going to do a pack trick for this one. Maybe it'll bring us some luck. Please give us a QCR. We have a Roma. We have Earthbound Fusion. We only have two QCRs. You're supposed to get three in a case. We have two packs left. We've opened 286 packs. Oh my goodness. Come on. Master of Ham, one of the best commons in the set. We have a Raid Rat. Oh my gosh. We didn't get one. Last pack magic. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. We've opened 287 packs in this case. You're supposed to get three QCRs. We've gotten two. There's one pack left. I'm not feeling great. I'm not feeling great about this. Getting shorted a QCR is gonna hurt. 287 packs open. Come on, Swarm of Centipedes, please, Master of Ham, Mature Chronicles, we have Goblin Biker, Ashen for Eternity, and a Goblin Biker Grand Entrance. So only two QCRs in the case. That's pretty rough. But maybe tonight or tomorrow in the big live stream, opening a bunch of packs on YouTube, we'll have better luck. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffin Zadoom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Another Toy Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.